I heard him the very first time, and I couldn't believe what I heard. Danny couldn't help but display his virtuosity. I would go see Roy Buchanan play at the uh, Crossroads in Bladensburg. I was just blown away by his style, his sound. He could do the sound of water dripping. He could do a cat meowing. He was sitting at the bar and he turned around and Clapton and Beck were sitting right behind him watching Roy Buchanan play. There was a whole lot of other guys and all that came from here. He was a great guitar player. Chip Hall Sr., who uh, was an influence on Roy Clark. The great Frankie Shago, Danny always said, quote unquote, Frankie Shago was the shit. And it's rhythm and blues and gospel and country and rock and roll. All in one. Made yep. into something that only we made. It's that groove, man, that, yeah. that, you know, I'm not gonna stay right here on this same chord. I'm gonna lay something on you, man. Tons of great musicians from around here, and all the musicians knew it. Maybe the rest of the world didn't, but we all did. You gotta play a Telecaster because Reggie Cannon and Danny Gatton played one. <laughs> As soon as he played, have become part of our uh, repertoire. They were part of a community that was welcoming and supportive and allowed them to create their own sound. They didn't call it Fun House for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so much great talent here. These people, they're getting a little bit of everything at night. Dude. Dude. Those nights go for a player, that was kind of a Cinderella night. I have no idea why this kind of guitar play came from this area, but I'm glad it did. When you're talking about Washington, D.C. guitarists, the names come up like Roy Buchanan, Danny Gatt, and these guys really took music to a whole different level. Looking back and having traveled extensively, I still feel like Washington had one of the better music scenes in the country, and I think still does. Good job.